What is going on guys? In this video we're going to be sharing you a great little flood concept from the Gun Tray Open Mini Scheme in the Vikings Playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player in Madden 21. And we're going to be doing tips for all of Madden 22 season as well. So if you want to get better at Madden, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be breaking down a flood concept out of our tray open mini series um, that we've been doing out of the Vikings playbook. If you've not already joined our true fan membership, you can do that right now. Um, it's super cheap. It's like five bucks a month. And if you want to get the whole tray open scheme, as well as all of the offenses and defenses that I release in there every single week, then you can get that um, down in the description. Again, it's just five bucks a month. It gets you an offense every week, a defense every week, and a pro player breakdown. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be talking about um, in this video is we are going to be giving you a absolute money little offensive scheme here uh, We're gonna be using this play Strong flood and um, it's just simply flooding the zones And so this is a really fun little concept. It's one of my favorites in this formation um, This tray open is a lot of fun to run personally, but basically it's really simple on how it's gonna work um, literally all we're going to do is we are going to take the X uh, receiver here and we're going to run him off. We're just going to run him on a vertical route. We're going to take the circle receiver and put him on a smoke screen. And then we're just going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is the first read is always the running back. Can we throw that snap throw for about five yards? It's really, really good against zone. A lot of people run cover three Mabel in this game. And what they like to do is they like to use her right in here. The problem is they're oftentimes going to be sitting, especially when we put that vertical seam right on the field there, they might jump over there, and if they don't come down immediately on this route, it's an absolute laser every single time. That little circle route to the back is so good against zone in this year's game. So that's our first read on this play. The second read on this play is can we hit um, can we hit the like the flood concept? So we're just looking over here. What you're gonna see is this R1 is often gonna get open on this out route. Um, this out route is very good for a lot of different reasons. Now I wanna real quick, um, I wanna give you one little thing on this though. Um, this is something I found to be helpful, especially if they're running, again, Mabel coverage. If they're running Mabel coverage, the zones, when you use a smoke screen, the zones do kind of flood outside. And it's not like bunch where you can just low ball this. You can throw this, but it's, if that's a safety there, that could be a little bit of a dicey throw. Especially, and, and what I've done is I've put my curl flats on 10 yards. So a way that we can kind of get around this is by using this hitch route right here. So all I'm gonna do is just hitch the X receiver, just quick hitch route. Watch how he holds these zones inside and it's just gonna give us a little bit more space to be able to hit this route. So that's something that you can kind of incorporate. Um, the best way to do it that I have found, honestly, if you wanna run this flood concept, the best way to get the out route open in this year's game is actually to motion across this circle receiver and really bring these zones inside the reason I like to do this is I still get this, and I'm not, I'm not just going to throw it away here or whatever because I ran commit by mistake. But when you use a motion drag route, what happens is um, it basically is something, another thing their user has to guard. But the other reason why I really like it is it's really specific to cover three Mabel. You wouldn't do this against cover two. Uh, you really even wouldn't do this against cover four. But against the Mabel concept, this is really good because you bring those zones inside and it gives your R1 receiver outside leverage, outside positioning to be able to throw that. So that's something you can do. Um, we're going to talk more about that in a future video. But from a flood perspective, I just want to be really clear um, with you on this is you have to understand if we just run it as is, um, the outside purple zone, it it kind of plays it, okay? Uh, the 10 yard purple zone kind of plays it. The, the 25 yard flat gets in an interesting position on the field. So it, you know, that's one of the things. Now this is, again, you know, we've got other plays that beat Mabel coverage. Um, when you use a smoke screen, the zones will really fall away from it really well. And you can basically get upfield for about five quick yards. So that's an option. Um, but really, if they're running a sound Mabel coverage, you know, you might not be working your flood side. They have five zones over there. <laughs> okay, they have five zones over there. 
But what you can do when you use this um, vertical is this, watch this running back route. When it cuts down underneath, it creates a natural high-low. Your high-low being, can I throw the in route or can I throw the running back circle route? Now, you can change this high-low if you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I would just leave it as is. But one thing you can also do with this is if you want to create more space. Again, if we're talking about just flat out, I want to create more space, put him on a curl. The reason why I like to put him on a curl is it opens up all of this grass in the middle of the field for me to be able to now throw the ball to my running back. But one problem I have with this, and the other thing that you need to know is you could actually smart route this running back route and make it go really deep. Now, if you like to do that, if you want to get this running back route to go really deep, that's even more of a reason to put this guy on a curl or a, an out route or something quick. Because you'll see, look how, it pull, look how the zones really sit on that curl, and now you've got all that space for your running back. So really, this play forces their user to user the running back, okay? Now, another, thing, another way that you could run this play, um, if you wanted to get a little bit more horizontal with your passing attack, is you can basically hitch the X, uh, smokescreen the, the circle receiver, and you get a look like this right here, okay? The reason I like this, this is pretty good. Um, you're just going to basically play maker open your hitch if they have a yellow. They want, not everybody does, you know, cover three Mabel the way that I do it in this video. Um, you know, not everybody does it like that. So, you know, you're not always going to have a yellow there. If there's no yellow, then you can throw your hitch. Now, if there's a yellow and they're playing this specific coverage, which is, I think, the best coverage in the game, um, you still can hit things like your running back. You still can um, you still can hit things like your smoke screen. If you let this play just run as is, um, and you trust this R1 route, you can hit it. I'm just simply saying to you in this video, don't necessarily just don't necessarily try to force it. Okay, I think that's super important. Um, if you're getting a lot of Mabel, you might not even want to put a flat out there. Um, you, you know, because it doesn't really. Unfortunately, you can't get these 10-yard curl flats to come down any more than they are. Um, and so that's that's just kind of the deal. Um, they're going to be able to split these. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I think everyone should be using their curl flats on 10 and their flats on 30. Um, but you can, and I don't want to dismiss this, I can pass lead that flat route upfield for about 13 yards. Um, so that's another thing that you have to understand. Um, you're not just... In, you just don't want to fall too in love with this out route, okay? Um, this out route is really good. You just don't want to fall in love with it too much. If they're giving you the flat, like right here, it's obvious the flat's open. It's a really good flat route. Um, it's a really good flat route to be able to get a feel. Now, real quick, I just want to show what it looks like if there's no yellow zone to the left. So if they don't have a yellow zone, I just want you to see what happens. Um, you can basically, um, now your dig comes a lot more open. The one thing I don't like about the dig and the circle route is they kind of go into the same area of the field. Now, I also don't like the fact that I don't have necessarily something to pull this guy out of the way with. I'll show you another setup that you can do, um, and it's real simple. We're just gonna smart route triangle, and then we're gonna drag square. That's all we're doing. And it basically, we're creating levels. Uh, but you'll see here that, you know, you, you see how he'll kind of pull the space, and now you can create you know, so basically it's like, okay, what does the user go to? Most of the time, okay, this is just my two cents, most of the time the user is going to guard the running back because they've probably seen this play before. If you have a drag on the field, though, what you're going to see is this drag has a lot of room and you can spin or, you know, one cut up field for some easy yardage. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time about this on, on man coverage, and I love this play against man coverage. This is one of my favorite man plays. Um, the reason why I like it so much against man coverage is three routes are going to absolutely kill it. Um, this out route right here is automatic. That's the real beauty of this play. Of course, I say they drops it, but it's automatic against man. As soon as he cuts to the outside, if they're pressing or they're not pressing, it doesn't matter. Um, as soon as he gets that separation right there, that's where you're throwing it. And I like the fact that it's about a 15 to 20 yard gain. Um, if they were to go with like this, where you see some shaded up coverage uh, out of this, that you're still gonna be able to get outside here and, and you're able to get open, okay? 
The other thing I like about this is, again, from man-to-man -man coverage perspective, you know, most people when they run man, they're not putting that guy on a purple. Most people, if they're running man, they're putting that guy on a 25-yard flat. If he's on a 25-yard flat, you're going to be able to still complete that route to, um, you know, to that player. The other reason I like this against man is the running back route. I cannot stress to you how good this route is. Um, it's really the main reason we call this play. But you see here, right on the cut, he's going to get separation. But the other thing that's really cool about this, this is unique to this play. It's why it's so good against the blitz. Let's say they blitz you. Watch this running back. I'm just going to throw it right there. Right there, a little snap throw, and we're off. That's also why, again, I personally um, either drag square or curl him. Um, if you leave him where he's at, I will tell you this, though. Like, let's say you go cover three. Let me show you this real quick. And I might need to be on, I think I need to be on the other side of the field. So let's say you run this to the short side. We talked about this concept. This is a similar similar concept to uh, PA wheel. I think PA wheel or PA, whatever it's called, PA wide receiver red. If I take X and put him on a vertical, I should be able to get this route over the cover three right there. Yep. Just like that. So that's a that's an added bonus. And that's I could do that if I wanted to. Like, let's say I wanted to put the smoke screen out there, so I still had the same quote-unquote flood concept where I have vertical, vertical flat, and, and uh, underneath. That's where this dig route is actually good. Um, is because if it's, if it's cover, if it's true cover three, and they do that, you should be able to hit him. Um, you just, the, the biggest thing is you need to send that circle route vertical. The R1 route won't hold it. Now, we've talked about that before, and what that's going to lead to is it's going to lead to them deep halving or running another coverage on it together like a cover four or something. So, you know, we talked about that a little bit, but I just want to show you, you can use the same concept out of this. Now, the other thing though, but, but, but if we're just running it like this and we're really just running traditional flood, um, to me, the circle route does the job of having an in-breaking pattern. So I'm gonna use square to do another job, whether it be a curl, a drag, or if I have Hot Route Master, a skinny post. Now the reason I like a skinny post is really specific to cover three. You see how he splits the seams really well? So if we're anticipating that their user is very likely to sit on the running back route, that's kind of what we've been saying is likely to happen. You throw that running back route a couple times and they're gonna start sitting on him. Um, you know, this in route does not get to me. I mean, it does get inside, but it doesn't get inside as fast as I think it could which is why if you tag or if you add a, a skinny post and you're running Hot Route Master, then if they don't use the middle of the field on his cut, on the skinny post cut right there, you see I can get that underneath the zone coverage, okay? So that's kind of the idea. This is a great play against zone pressure. If you get zone pressure, you will have a field day with this. Um, this is why I like a curl as well, because watch that flat just jet out there and I can just easily check it down right into that little place uh, very easily. The other reason why I like this is again, we talked about this a second ago, but this is such a good way to, um, this is such a good way to deal with it if your opponent is doing something like this. So let's say they're setting six. That's, it's just a high low read. It's just a high low read. Look how he gets sucked in and Scotty Miller snap throw off to the races. If they're in curl flats, which we've talked about this a little bit on the channel before, if he's in a curl flat zone, curl flat's gonna jet outside more, so I can just low ball right to Godwin right on the snap. So I've got really good options. I can I can throw it you know in either direction quick. If I want to, I can just put him vertical too. You know the the smoke screen in combination with all this is really good because um, what you get by this is you get this um, you get that snap throw to Godwin or X, you're running, you've got two seam reads now that kind of force their user to come over here. And if their user has to come over here, we're gonna kill them right there. Really easy, every time, dot. One last thing about this is man-to-man. -man. Uh, we talked about the stick concept. One of the things I don't like about stick is if that linebacker's in man-to-man, -man, you see how he, he doesn't stop him, but he can't, I mean, he, he's kind of there. Um, and we talked about this from Y corner, I think, in this in this offense. This play is different. Uh, this play is very different. So if they're in man coverage on him, watch. 
fast lead inside, it's a laser every time. So this is like a really clean cut man beater to the back. Um, it's better, I think, than angle route because it's more delayed. You see how it just kind of like, just kind of roasts out there. It's right off rip. It's really hard to use with that route. So that's a really good route. And it's a fun little play, strong flood out of the gun tray open. Thanks for watching. If you want to get my full tray open offensive guide, or if you want to get all of the stuff in my true fan membership, all the defenses and offenses that I've broken down so far, you can get that for just $5 a month. All you got to do is sign up. It's it's five bucks. And if you want to get it again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. You get videos every week. You get new schemes every week. You're always getting the newest stuff that I have. I'm in the lab. I'm in the lab a ton trying to prepare for Madden 22. And, and we are just got some really good content prepared for you guys. So I'm really excited about it. Anyway, this is the tray open. If you want to get the guide on it, uh, the link is in the description.